Hello friends, welcome to another video in digital communication series. In this video, we'll talk about ASK, which is amplitude shift keying. It is the most basic method of sending digital data um, as analog modulated signal over the channels. So the output, uh, the modulated output will depend upon the input data, whether it should be a zero or some uh, sinusoidal of carrier frequency. This is pretty simple as I'll proceed on to explain. We assign the zero value for low input because we are sending digital data. So we'll have zeros and ones in succession. succession. So what will happen, we'll uh, assign a zero value for low input and some sinusoidal for one. So this is pretty much the crux of amplitude shift keying is let us say we have the signal which constitutes of ones and zeros so it is digital in nature so <coughs> amplitude shift keying essentially says that whenever a zero is there or a low input is there we send a zero voltage on the channel otherwise we send the carrier frequency at one we send the carry frequency at zero the signal is zero so <clears throat> if you look closely we simply require one local oscillator that generates the carrier frequency so the ASK modulator is pretty simple we have this sinusoidal carrier generator and then we have this unipolar binary sequence and that we want to be modulated so this signal input signal is go it goes here and it has a switch where at one the switch closes and it forwards the carrier frequency to the bandpass filter and this output is collected this is pretty simple at zero the switch is open so we do not get this FC through this block and we get a zero output as intended. So the modulator is pretty simple and finally we have the ASK demodulator which is even simpler. We send the ASK signal, this kind of a signal to the rectifier, it rectifies it and gets me this kind of an output, the clipped output. On only on the positive side then we pass it through the low pass filter to get the desired digital output so this is comparator that compares the threshold to decide whether it's a zero or a one. this comparator will decide the digital output whether it's a zero or a one so that's how amplitude shift keying works in digital communication. This is the basics of how uh, we send the digital data over analog channels. And I hope you liked this quick video. I'll see you around. Take care. Bye-bye.